Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We're playing Rebel Galaxy. This is our pirate playthrough of the main campaign, and uh, this is like version 2.0. Um, so I, I did uh, I did some work. <laughs> I played a little bit um, outside of recording, just to kind of write the ship because I felt like I, I expressed it before. I think I kind of backed this up against the wall, and it was. Uh, it was getting more frustrating to play and always relying on maneuverability. So, this is going to be completely different. Uh, you can see one thing that changed was uh, we're now friendly with the Red Devil Cartel. That was just part of doing quests. That's all I did was just go out and make money. So then, Equipment Bay, uh, you can see right here. Um, let's see, uh, Weapons, everything is Mark IV. Uh, except for the flat cannons. I'm not sure what I want there. I kind of just... It's on the back burner for now. But, um... Mark V uh, broadsides. Uh, Mark IV everything. We're just sticking with particle lasers. I like those a lot. They're really effective. And then uh, I found a badger. And this is something um, that you can only get from killing Mirath ships. And so that's that's how I got it. I um, mean, it's just... It's got a huge range. 14,400. Um, and it just fires a single, a single rocket repeatedly. Um, and it doesn't run out of ammo. And let's see, what else? What else did we get here? We got uh, Mark V shock deflector. Um, switch, yeah, so the, the deflector is different. Um, it's the shock, so it takes forever to recharge, but it's got a huge damage capacity. And that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, just for uh, broad strokes here, right? But... Let's go to the shipyard and let's check this out. So this is the this is the ship we're gonna get. It's a destroyer. This is the Damocles. It is um, is a Red Devil exclusive. So you have to be with the Red Devil cartel in order to buy it. And look at this, we have enough. That's it, just like that. <laughs> That's our ship now. And then uh, let's go to the equipment bay. And we need to uh, let's see here. We have one extra turret. Can you, can you imagine that? A destroyer versus a corvette has one more turret. That Barracuda was something else. But, um, let's see, we have something in surplus. Just have to find it. There it is. Uh, Mark IV Ion Turret. And we'll install it. It's pretty good, right? It's not, not the worst thing in the world. It would be nice to have another um, particle laser, but, uh, I think I kind of want to put our eggs in different baskets. So maybe have we have six turrets, maybe have four particle lasers, or even go down to three. What the heck was that? Cortana, you're killing me. No, but go down to even like maybe three. See, maneuverability is not horrible. <laughs> but I'm rationalizing this. It is slow though. Wow, that is slow. Alright, so let's let's check this out. We're gonna be doing some main mission stuff. I think that's all we have here. Mission log, yeah. Fragment recovery. See that it turned green before. Um, I think the last time, in the last episode, this was orange. Big upgrades. Accelerating to sublight. Pretty, pretty beefcake status, huh? That's a beefy ship. How many bridges does it have? <laughs> I guess, I guess just probably one, huh? The one on top there. Yeah, I think it looks good. Um, and uh, I like how when you buy a new ship, it changes the color of the lights. Oh shoot, did I totally... Yes, I totally just passed it. Okay, so there's that Mirath launcher. It's just, we get... Yeah, that's nice. Let's see what this thing can do. Engines at maximum. This is an eradicator, I think it's a destroyer. Focus drop. Engines at maximum. Wow, that's a lot more broadsides than we see. Fabric shields. Oh wow, what? <laughs> we just got her. <laughs> we just had her shields taken out. That was really surprising. I wanted to just go in there and be complacent. Placement. Placement. Excuse me. Third time's a charm. And uh, push the guys around. But... Not that time. That's alright. Maybe we'll get a ramming speed. Deflector. 
This deflector is just beastly. There's that really slow way to turn coming in there. Are we even moving? I, I seriously, I, I can't. I couldn't tell. Now I can. What a different perspective. Oh man, can't even target him because we're so slow. Huh. Jeez, shields down all the time. <laughs> That's all right. Different ship. We'll have to get used to playing a little bit different here. Collision warning. Engines are no longer. Oh, the engines. Are here. That's right. Okay. That explains a lot, right? Let's just sit here and see what we can do. Oh, didn't expect that, huh? <laughs> okay, well that was all right. We'll still have to keep our distance, um, you know, and like in play, play intelligently. Like when do we not, right? Um, well, in easy games, I guess that's when. There was some water over here. Let's go get that. Attack the unsolved. Miss that very cruise maneuverability. Like this one, uh, this ship, I'm not sure if it'll be able to make it through some of those, like uh, the blockade missions where you have to deliver deliver something and, you know, and break the blockade to get there. Robots got some good cargo here, though. Wow, so slow. What do we have? Data cubes? Yeah, we'll take it. What else? Robots? Uh huh. Well, I'm gonna pause it here. I'll let you know when we get there. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that. The reason that I upgraded the ship, or changed it, I don't know if it's an upgrade yet, <laughs> but the reason I changed it was because I just seemed like using that Barracuda, or, you know, trying to stick with the smaller ships, just for that maneuverability, it just seemed like it was, it was really going against the grain. It was getting to be more and more of a challenge. Yeah, and so it just seemed like we were playing the way the game did not want to be played. But, I don't know, now after that initial combat, that was the most I've seen shields go down, uh, I, maybe ever, with, without dying. Yeah, we're gonna pass up on that one. We're gonna go take care of this main mission. It's gonna be a minute, hold oh, please. Here's the next one. Nope, it's another jump. One more onward to Persephone system. Alright, hold please. Well, we got stopped here. We're solo in this one, in this fight. I kind of want to see what we can do. Or just kind of see how it goes. See if I've made um, the, the biggest mistake in, I've ever made in a game like this by switching ships. Or see if this is going to be doable. Those, those neutron beams have a hard time with the smaller vessels, don't they? They just kind of get all scattered. Well, this one was pretty easy. This, uh, this combat. Jeez, okay. Ooh, religious tracts. Okay, we'll take those. Soy paste, hard pass. Metallic ore, same to you, sir. Hold, please. Here's just a recap of the main story. The, the main campaign. 
Um, the main reason that we're playing it. <laughs> this is what's our driving force. Otherwise, it's just fighting all the time. Uh, but this is Cortana. Uh, her name is her name's really Trell. But um, anyway, she's our onboard AI. She's implemented herself into our computers. And so in that last quest, we got Hexite. We stole it from those, I think the Mirath miners. And then um, she was able to use that, make a, a, a broader sweeping scanner. And then she found another priest piece of the reliquary and so hopefully we'll get an upgrade to the ship again and then one thing i noticed um since we got red devil cartel friendly they they give some really good quests like three hundred thousand dollars um payouts pretty regularly and they're not they're not extra work really um they're about as much as a one hundred thousand dollar one presence of a fragment in this touch of right field the properties of the masses here make precision scans difficult I suggest using your post scan throughout this field to pinpoint. There, we have located the fragment. <laughs> that was quick. That mass. Oh, there it is. Destroying it should release the fragment oh. without damaging it. Pause. Give Before me five I minutes to turn around. I'm detecting lifeform craft approaching this location. It seems they are attempting to make good on their threat. Yeah, I was going to say. No. Okay, I was going to say that too. Is um, the Lightborn? Those are the guys that we stole a piece of the reliquary from. They um, they issued a threat. Saying we'll get you. Get our our uh, armor plating on the starboard side is is down. Let's talk to this guy. Let's see what he has to say. At last, we have found you, a sinner who defiled our sacred order. But see how the Lord of Dawn's hand is everywhere, for you possess the divine cipher. That must be Cortana. I don't have time for your fanaticism. The con no, we always have time for fanaticism. It's so interesting. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know of what I speak. Some call it a specter. Give it to us, and the Lord may forgive your transgressions. Yeah, why do you want it so badly? It was foretold that the Cypher's ascension would usher in an era of light. Holiness, and for this reason, our order has searched long to find it. Uh, okay, yeah, we're not gonna hand it over. Holiness and light, or no, she's sticking with me. Then the Lord of Dawn will Bye. Okay, now let's swing around here just a little bit, and boop. Man, shields are already down. I wonder what this repair bill is going to be. That's what I was talking about. These neutron beams, they just kind of like, it's really tough to hit the small vessel vessels because they don't really have, they're not precise. And I'm making the distinction between precision and accuracy. These guys are nuts. They got about a bajillion missiles. Um, they have really, I guess, long range weapons. Down. Oh, good. Just start killing them. So far, I think, um, in all the combats that we've done, this ship only did well at really in one. Because this mission is supposed to be green. Uh, meaning low risk. Can, we, can you just hit him with the beams? Oh gosh, okay. Well... Engines impaired. Oh good, engines are impaired. <laughs> this might be the end. I'm losing patience with this ship already. It's good for this kind of stuff. Maybe I just need some like, some better um, secondary weapons and turrets and things. To handle those little, the small vessels. I don't know. Cause look at that, we didn't even hit him. There we go. No armor plating um, on either side of the ship. See, this is pretty good right here. It's it's doing good damage. Lord, see how we serve thee, even in 
Watching the, the, the shields. They're about to go down. I'd like to get this one this one ship. There we go. And then we're going to get out of here. So, I mean, we're eating through that armor plate and the shields, even though these uh, these beam weapons, they, they tend to not do as well against shields as other weapons. So I guess it's kind of what you'd expect. I just have to get used to this. What I mean by what you'd expect is that, I mean, I'd expect a capital ship to be really good at taking out capital ships. But I guess it depends on... Ah, there are a lot of variables. I think I'm overthinking it, and we'll get used to it. Okay. Okay, jeez. I don't want your soy paste. Get out of here with that. Ordinance? Um, I don't think we need it. Okay, so we'll come back here. Oh, we got some red devils that showed up. That's cool. Kind of. Passing over a lot of good cargo here. Okay, we're gonna come up here. This ship is... <laughs> it is slow. This is like night and day compared to that Corvette. Okay, and let's just make sure. Use your pull scanners at close proximity to detect a fragment. Yeah, we already did that, so we just have to mine it now, right? Well, Pseudo mining. Let's see if we can... We'll get it here. <laughs> let's let's see here. Two, no four. Laser turret. There we go. Nope, that's we're, we're too close. That's what it is. We're too close. Rocket turret. And Full stop. let's go to broadsides. broadsides. Oh, that's a lot better. There we go. I have recovered the fragment. Mission complete. Engines at maximum. Accelerating. Yeah, I don't think we would have had time to do that with the lightborn coming on pretty strongly. So that's it for this one. Still undecided about this ship. I might I might go back to that Barracuda. Yeah, let's talk to Cortana. I want to thank you for your actions. When the Lightborn attempted to obtain me, I have no desire to be treated as property again. Oh, it's no problem, lady. I have assimilated the fragment we recovered from the tetrahedrite field. My memories are beginning to knit together more coherently. Learn anything else interesting? Yes. Oh. It appears that a part of a vast store of knowledge spanning many cultures and eras, I may also have an innate ability to alter the fabric. Of subspace. So, what does that mean exactly? The practical applications for travel are immense. When I fully recover my memories, I should, in effect, be able to erect a temporary jump gate at any point in known space. I can see why so many parties would be interested. Indeed. In the meantime, I should be able to perform a significant upgrade to your onboard pulse scanner using the hex site based technology we have assembled. This will improve its range and tracking ability. Excellent. I have already prepared and implemented the upgrade. Wow, that was fast. You must have been working on it in your own time. What now? Any luck with further scans? I am continuing the process and... Wait a moment. I am detecting a spatial anomaly with a confusing signature. Moreover, a coded distress signal is being generated near that point in space. Where is the anomaly located? I have uploaded the coordinates. We should proceed with some haste. Let's go. We'll get it in the next one because that's all for this one. This is Rebel Galaxy. And thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.